So today is a Diwali makeup look and this is the makeup look that I came up with and since I know Diwali is coming nearby I thought why not give you all some options to do different kind of makeup looks on Diwali and this is really really simple to do you all will see as I go through the tutorial about it and I hope you all achieve this look and please do send me selfies or something of that sort so that I know what you all came up with and if you all want to know how I achieve this makeup look Please keep watching. So uh, before starting with the foundation, I am going to prime with my aloe vera gel by Patanjali. You all know this is like my go-to primer. It makes my primer stay all day. I mean my foundation stay all day. So I am just going to prime my face with this. <clears throat> I am sorry if I sound a little different because I have throat infection, I have cough and I can't really speak. I peak much but I'm trying I'm doing it because I love talking to you guys so yeah so once we applied our primer we are gonna move on to our foundation and for foundation today I'm using my L'Oreal new true man super blendable makeup foundation in the shade buff beige and applying it with a brush on my face And then I'm taking my fat beauty blender and just spread it on with my foundation. Then we're gonna move on to concealer and for concealer today I am using the LA Gold Pro Conceal and my Maybelline Fit Me Concealer. Um, this is in the shade Sand Sable and this is in the shade creamy beige and I'm just gonna be applying it where I normally do and then I'm taking my beauty blender and blending this out Once I've done that, I am just gonna highlight my T-zone area with my Maybelline Fit Me Concealer. And again, just blend everything out. So that everything looks seamless and a little bit natural. <laughs> I know, like, natural, but you can make your makeup look natural. So next we are just gonna set our face and for that I'm using my Sally Hansen Translucent Fluce Powder in the color Neutralizer and I'm just taking a little bit and then with my beauty blender I'm gonna pick that product up and bake under my eyes and then I'm just setting the rest of my face where I've applied concealer with the same Sally Hansen powder. So I have learned another trick since I'm oily skin I have heard that instead of using a brush try and use your beauty blender and apply your setting powder with it. So this is gonna make your foundation stay way longer. So I'm using my same Sally Hansen powder and setting my entire face. Once that is done, I'm just gonna set my uh, eyebrows and that for that. And then for that, I'm using my NYX eyebrow gel in Expresso. This is what I always use. So I'm, again, I'm gonna go for this one. And today I'm gonna try it with a new brush because my other brush is just become too old now. So guys, once we are done with the eyebrows, I am going to move on to my eyes and for eyes today, I am using my Makeup Revolution Professional Eyeshadow Palette in Neutrals vs Neutrals. I told you all about this in my previous video and I wanted to try this out for this makeup look and I am going to go a little bit purpley nude on my eyes today. So let's see how it goes. I haven't really planned how I'm going to do it. I'm just winging it out so yeah let's get started so the first shade that I'm gonna be using is this shade right here this shade right here I'm gonna be using this as my transition color it's 
So I apply this eyeshadow in Rinchy Wipe Emotions. Once that is done, we are going to take the lid color and for that I am going to take this color right here. And I'm going to be applying that on my lids halfway. Once that is done, I am taking this very beautiful dusky pink, dark dusky pink kind of a color and applying it on my outer corners and dragging it halfway in my crease like to here. So once that is done, I am just going to apply my eyeliner and for eyeliner today I am using my um, Lacme Absolute Shine Eyeliner in the color black and I am going to apply a very beautiful wing liner because you all know I do not go anywhere without winged eyeliner. Once we are done with the eyeliner, I am gonna finish off my eyes by lining my lower waterline with the same <clears throat> dusky rose color and dragging it on my lower waterline. Once that is done, I am taking the burnt orange shade and again blending that out. Once that is done, I am taking my mascara, that is the Maybelline Falsies mascara and applying at least 5 coats of it. Kidding, just 2-3 coats. So our eyes are almost done, we are gonna move on to our face and for face we are gonna start with contouring. First and for contouring, I am using my NYX Contour and Highlight Kit. And I'm going to be using this color right here as my uh, bronzer shade and I am applying that wherever I normally bronze. I'm bronzing on my forehead region as well because you know I want to get a little color to my face and I want to show that tanned effect. I am also contouring on my jawline like creating a shadow basically. Once that is done, I am gonna take the darker shade right here and contour my cheeks a little bit. Once that is done, I'm just taking the same brush and contour on my nose. Once that is done, we are going to move on to blusher and for blusher today, I am using this Miss Claire blusher in the shade 35 and this is like a very pretty peachy pink kind of a colour and I love this blusher. Ever since I bought it, I have been using this colour so 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 much. It's the perfect everyday shade and it's so very well pigmented so be very careful while applying it. You see, it's so 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 pigmented and I feel like I picked up a lot. And now I'll have to blend it out like for ages. Once you've done that, we are gonna move on to a highlighter. And for highlighter, I am using this in color eyeshadow in the shade 865. And this is like a very pretty baby pink kind of a color. So I'm taking my um highlighter brush and applying this from the highest points of my cheeks and again this is the first time I'm trying it I'm not sure I'm also going to be highlighting my inner corner with the same highlight and for that I'm using my fingers itself and applying it in my inner corners and on my brow bone and on top of my cheeks 
so on top of my lips. So for lips today, I am going for the ColourPop Ultra Matte Lip in the Color Bundle. This is how it looks like and it's a very beautiful pink and nude color. entire makeup look I just ended up applying my falsies and a little bit of casual on my lower waterline to just get the entire look together and I hope you all like this makeup look and you'll try it as well for Diwali and yeah please don't forget to comment in the comments below if you all have any queries regarding makeup or anything of that sort I will totally reply to you all and please follow me on my social media accounts and also please subscribe to my channel and that's it I would like to say in this video and I'll see you in my next one bye